Hello guys, uh, welcome to Excellence Biomedical Engineering. On today's video, we will be talking about X-ray beam limitation devices. So basically, uh, uh, it is one of the important thing as we know that radiation exposure is supposed to be limited as per the ALARA principles in a radiation protection course. So now on this video, we'll be talking about uh, X-ray beam limitation devices. We know that uh, the primary X-ray beam uh, shall be adequately collimated so that it is no longer than the size of the image receptor being used for the examination. Uh, with what this means is that let's say we want to examine a portion of the wrist only. So there is no point in letting the X-ray exposure to above the wrist up to let's say the elbow joint so uh as you can see uh with modern equipment this uh, is accomplished by what providing the unit with a light localizing variable aperture rectangular collimator to adjust the size and shape of x-ray beam either automatically or manually the collimator is currently the most popular is uh you know uh, one of the most uh, popular X-ray beam limitation device in use at the time of this publication. So, as per what they said, so types of X-ray beam limitation device, in addition to the light localizing variable aperture rectangular collimator earlier, X-ray beam limitation devices include number one we have aperture diaphragms, we have cones, and we have cylinders. And all these devices can find the useful or primary beam before it enters the area of clinical interest and hereby limit the quantity of body tissue irradiated. This also reduces the amount of scattered radiation in the tissue and prevents unnecessary exposure to tissues not under examination. So what is scattered radiation? Scattered radiation is all the radiation that arises from the interaction of an x-ray beam with the atoms of a patient or any other object in the path of the beam. When the size of the x-ray field is restricted to include only the anatomic structures of clinical interest, the patient dose is significantly reduced because a smaller portion of the body is only examined. So this is a picture of what? Of a light localizing variable aperture rectangular collimator which is used to limit uh, you know uh, the x-ray beam uh, scattered or like let me say scattered radiation it is part of the alara principle to what to limit the uh, uh, scattered radiation throughout everywhere in the body to only limited places where we need to take the x-ray so thank you guys for watching this is just a just quick uh, reminder on uh, radiation protection hazard course so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe